That's as sexy as I'm fucking getting. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Oh, and y'all still, I choke, choke. Aaron. Yes, you did. Oh, it's so good when I choke you. I know. You and putting your fingers in my mouth all the time wanting to choke me. Good Lord. I did not even... Okay, let me tell you. That's a good friend. <laughs> I had to be bulimic on my own. I know. Uh, <laughs> she was trying to make me bulimic I on Thursday. I put my finger in his mouth, and he's like started gagging. And I'm like, who thought that Aaron would have a gag reflex? Well, and she wasn't trying to shove it down there and like play with the little doodad. I in wasn't back. trying to play with it. It was finger. Right, but like down. tickle, tickle the uvula. Oh, no, it didn't even do that. And then he goes, all, <laughs> yeah. Did you puke? No. No wonder he I doesn't didn't. like to do that oral sex. I don't be back in the oral sex. No. Mm -mm. Do you like oral sex? <laughs> Getting it. Mm. Yeah, no, I don't put my mouth on that. Mm. Right? Amen, girl. Yeah, everyone's like, right? Amen. He's there, right? Uh -uh. Thank you. you These lips only go around where cocktails. Where that shit's been. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to He Said, She Said Live. We are at the Brass Rail with Barbarella Cocos. We love Barbarella. Thank you. She's one of my favorites on Twitter. Do you follow Barbarella on Twitter? Uh, I do now. You do. She follows. She just signed up to follow me. I know. I know. But I know. you know what? I, I've, I follow you just following you in general, but I didn't know your account. So I just found it when he tweeted at you. That's what everybody says. Well, it's because you don't Twitter enough for people to I think it's called tweet. Find I you. don't think that people care. I've told you this is zero. Yeah, they do. People, people, care. people don't care. Don't care what I do. People they care. Do. I'm Although today to I did, uh, you know, on Foursquare, because I went way down. I'm a four square okay. addict. Are you on Foursquare? No, I'm afraid of Foursquare. Thank you. Me too. I oh just thought too. I am. Do what? I'm afraid of Foursquare too. Why? Just in here. I only just started checking in because I don't want people knowing where I'm at. Like I, I okay, well, very do what carefully I do. like say where I'm at and when because I don't want like you know randoms. I check in when I'm leaving. Oh, <laughs> that's brilliant. <laughs> So very rarely do I check in when I get there. I check in when I'm leaving. Don't give them time to catch you. No, gone. So it's just like on the way out, like one yeah. heel out the door. You're exactly. You're just like, exactly. I'm so here. But then they all get there and like, where'd she go? Uh, yeah, she's gone. But it, the other part of the, that's good for that is that you get points for the most more friends that you have that are someplace. But what do those points do? You don't care about Twitter followers. What are your points doing? For oh, you? I don't know. But you know, it's like a competition. I'm very competitive. Okay. So everyone on Foursquare, they all compete with numbers. I you know, know, but if you're not going to cash them in, big deal. <laughs> give them to someone. <laughs> But it's not, it's about winning. It's about winning. It's can about you winning. <laughs> no. She I wants can, a trophy or a crown. So, so like, you know, in a week's time, then, you know, it's that. like who gets the most points from the most places that you, you go, and you get points for going. But, but would, so it's, it's just the winning, though. You don't actually, like, get a prize. No, you get nothing. There's you no, get like, little badges. Yeah. Okay, badges. well, the badges, though, show people just how mm. much good you are. You yes. Is that the one where you're a mayor of some place? Yes. Like, I'm the mayor. Yes. Yes. I'm just going to run for mayor, actually. <laughs> yeah, Henry. Well, and you, then, like, you know what? You might and win. Then I'll be your mayor. I'm going to okay. run for, I'm going to run for a uh, county supervisor. Okay, I'm running for mayor. Okay. As long as we you started do it like it this. We started it now. Yes, yes. Well, Tony <laughs> Jacobs. We're look. taking volunteers. County supervisor. Okay, ride. I'm going to take Tony <laughs> Jacobs' seat. Tell Barbarella <laughs> where you checked in all of last week, the okay. most places. Check-in. Oh, bars. Bars. <laughs> bars. Most of my check-ins were all bars. In fact, I even got, they didn't give me a note that said, this is uh, your seventh different bar. <laughs> did you get a badge for that? Did you get I a bar did. badge? You should. Yeah, I did. Exactly. I did Lush. A bar bitch oh. badge. <laughs> I mean, like, my, mom, my mom follows me on there, and then she's like, really? <laughs> your mom follows perhaps. you on, on, on Foursquare? Square. Yeah. <laughs> perhaps you should she, go. Yeah, to perhaps so you should go. She doesn't perhaps like you cursing. see how many churches you can go to in a week. <laughs> <laughs> you With a drink. We had Pastor Rich on. That was plenty. That was enough church. That for was really and I think I, I watched him. that. Did you watch I watched that? that. I think he, the Campus Life thing he did, I think he did Campus Life in my high school. You think so? Yeah. yeah because what? I remember thinking this guy is gay. And, and <laughs> 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 but, but like, because he was really, they were really hardcore trying to make you Christian mm -hmm. at that. And, and like, draw your image of God and things like that. The Campus Life, that whole Campus Life thing. Right, Every right. little alien, you know? So I'm like, I believe that Mary was impregnated by an alien species, hence the no sex thing. Wow. Well, I, uh, I don't know where to go from there. Too, and he's like, yeah, I don't have he's answers gay. for you. Okay. I don't know if it's the same one. He's gay. He's admitting that he has found his sexuality. No, I love it. No, and it was a great, it was a great thing. But I was like, oh my god. I don't even know if somebody on. loses I their sexuality. Well, denied. Sorry. Yeah, because I don't think you lose your sexuality. You can find it. No. Well, right. I mean, I didn't mean it in the sense that he lost it. I just right. meant that he decided to own it. 
Which is awesome. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I don't totally. Know. And now he when checks did you know you were like going to be all sexual? Huh? When did you become all sexual? Um, uh, God, I think. Uh, and then we're going to talk 12, about your. 13. What? 13? Oh, she's all what? Yeah, I, don't, I mean, no, I didn't have sex at that age. But that was like. But, was yeah, but, but that's just becoming sexual. It doesn't mean that you be, yeah, had sex. Yeah, no. My, my, my first awareness of like. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Was it, although when I was five, and my father doesn't know this, and he's sitting out there, hey, daddy. Um, um, when we lived in Alaska. Which one I is your dad? Neighbors. Oh, I, I really, really, which one your dad is now? The, the one covering your ears. <laughs> no, <laughs> I like, asked him earlier. Ah! I, told, I told Aaron this, and I was just like, just pretend I'm not your daughter. He's like, I do that every day. Every day. <laughs> every day I try to do that. So what happened when you were five? I would, you know, I'd tie up neighbors. or like, oh, no, let's play this game where I where I tie you up and leave you and leave your pajamas up. And, you right. Know, <laughs> and leave your pajamas. It's, it's innocent, but you're just kind of like, hey, hey, hey. so I guess, I mean, but you don't know. It's child's play at that age. You don't realize, but it's always there. It is always there. And then, so then later, and then my awareness, I think, was like 12. But you're like, this is how it's going to be. I'm all, hey, you. Yeah. <laughs> all kids, I what think, a, have, did you have a, a, a clothes thing? Mine was, uh, mine was, when I was five and six, I can totally remember it. We have to trade clothes. And the whole thing was just because I wanted to see them naked. Oh. Uh, I just, well, I didn't want their so clothes. You, so basically, you are like a rapist. That's what you're uh, saying. Like, I yeah. was five, too. I Children mean. can also be, no, no. I used yeah. to pay my cousin a penny every time he'd show me his penis. So, oh. and he had a jar. Sorry, <laughs> a jar. And so you were, so you I'm started a prostitution at a young age. Yeah, no, she got I'm, I'm very roles. industrious. Yeah. You know, always an entrepreneur. Yeah, okay. but not if you were paying for it. He was an entrepreneur. He was an actually you're right. Yeah, but I had that backwards. Yeah, you know, total. Always paying for sex. Yeah, <laughs> I guess that's what. I mean. <laughs> Did I have that? That was okay. Yeah, backwards. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, now that you figured it out. Well, the red boa, you know, whatever. Ostrich feathers. But don't we all pay for sex? We all pay for sex. In you some way or another, we sure yeah. do. Have you ever really paid for a hooker? No, I have not. Have you? Bought dinner. I mean, like, does that count? No, 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 no. no. Like, the, you were like, uh, you. The, I had a lot of friends who did that, but I was like their friend, and so I never had to pay. But I would, you know. So you had friends that were yes, that were hookers. ladies of the night. All right, yeah. I'm not a poster. Is hookers to it. wrong? Is that the wrong word? For no, no, no. I was just saying that. Um, no, they were dancers who made friends over the weekend, but they would pick and choose. Not like the street walkers. Is that funny for you? You like that? <laughs> Are you like that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah but the dancers. Who I, kind of I like, have you friends know. too. <laughs> I have paid for other people to have sex with hookers. Does that really? count? Really? What? What? I've chipped in. Oh, and I have a friend who has an escort service. What? And so she had, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, had, uh, I've totally done that. Why have, Why would you pay for somebody else to have sex? Well, I mean, is it because you, did you feel so they bad really for them? It. Yes, because it was a gift, I guess. It was their gift. Was it somebody who was just too afraid? No, to it was somebody who was so up fucking tight who said he would never ever ever do anything like that and we all went out for so his bachelor him. party and we all paid for the lady to do him good and he did <laughs> and then apparently went back after because he got divorced because of it so for real so you started him down an addictive <laughs> thing god you're a brilliant friend I'm I knew it began, it, the only one. it began with abuse at five so, yeah thank you and then it ended up in debauchery yeah at 25 so your friend had an escort thing? Yeah, I have a friend who, who actually uh, Bad Girl Productions, which is based in San Diego and went to San Diego, LA. She had an escort. Wait, why but that's I not know sex. that name. That's right. not you got to know, yeah, because it's because it's a, that's escort service dancing. That's not the dancing people I was talking about. Right. Separate the two. Total. Yeah. Right. Um. Uh, but uh, yeah. Bad what? Bad Girl. Bad, bad girl, girl, girl Productions. Bad Girl Productions. Yeah. yeah. She Ooh. just uh, sold it, I think, like this this month. And she probably made a huge amount of money. She probably, hopefully. Oh, I was they do. Say. Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> they do. There's that new show that's on uh that's going to be on life time i think it's so a woman is wronged and then everybody cries yeah 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 is that maybe it's not lifetime i don't know what but it's about uh uh about a madam that's running this school uh jennifer gardner i think is in it and she plays one of the hookers and 
I don't know. I saw the real one, the HBO one. I mean, it's just. Oh, yeah. The yeah, 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 or whatever her name was. Jennifer Love Hewitt. Is that who that's it is? Yeah, I love the peanut gallery that actually has more answers than I do. I know. That's I'm all, Nicholas. He's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Nicholas has <laughs> Super fan. shit. Yeah. Yeah, because he kind of knows what I'm thinking. He just finishes it. <laughs> he does. You're like, yeah. he's like right on it. Yeah. I it's think if I, if, I, if, I, if I died or something and my voice changes, it's because I was. He's using you as a puppet. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever taken over sex? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 How much? Uh, it was like $150. Oh. Cool. But it was really great. I mean, the whole thing was like really... It was kind of... I was a dare that somebody dared me that I wouldn't do it. And I did it, but what was really great is that... Uh, it was just... I don't know. The, it, that there was just no expectation of any thing. Like, you knew... You don't have to talk. You're just like, just do that. Yeah, if you want to have sex, we, you could have sex. If you didn't... I mean, he was very cool. We had a lot of fun. We actually later became friends. Oh. So, wow. was it sexy? Uh, Were you friends with benefits? No, 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 no. Because when we, because this, we actually didn't have like sex like you think that you were going to have sex. I mean, it was. You just wanted to talk and cuddle? I did kind of talk a lot more than I thought I was going to talk to him. Shut up. Uh, because, uh, because I'm all about interviews, you know what you I'm saying? You mean you have to pay people to listen to you uh, talk? Yeah, I'm like, yeah. Is it <laughs> Well, okay, so I went into, what well, it started with, you know, like, oh, blah, blah, blah. You know, they dared me to do it. I did it. And then while we were doing it, I'm like, well, I wanted to know how he got into it and why he does it. And, you know, you're he had totally another interviewing job. Him. You're totally interviewing him. Had a great time. And then we, like, played a little bit. And that was it. That's cool. And then he left, and you know, there was none of that. Oh, call me, or oh, call me. Yeah. You know, like none of that weird texting yeah, the next none. day where you're like, I am not your bitch. It is just, like what? you are gone. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. So it's good. It was fun. For uh, oh. for my fiftieth birthday though, Come on. which is like twenty years away. Yeah. <laughs> I want to have. Uh, I want to hire five. Because I had a friend that actually did this. I was like, great idea. I thought it was like brilliant. He hired five hookers for each decade of his life to represent the five decades. That's know, so. great. Kind of go half about it. Yeah. So he got a all really right. tweaky guy, you know, kid that was just youth and all of that. Oh, you mean he actually, he hired, he hired somebody who like fit uh, the decade. Uh, yeah. Uh, not uh. even just like five men, one for every decade or five weeks. No, 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 no. So it was uh, one really younger one and then it went all the way up. It was, I thought it was brilliant. It was That's a great brilliant. idea. Can I go yeah. to that party? And yeah, but yeah, when I turn 50, sure. And it, I'll put it in the calendar for 20 years out. But yeah. Did he and bring them all to a party and then said, hey, look at my hookers? Or No, he, no, no, no. Oh, it was his what? thing. It was like his whole, you know, it, it, would, it went over like basically them? a two-day thing. Uh-huh. And so uh, it was like a two-day thing. And so the first, I think there was like two guys on the first day. The younger guy, he did more with. So it was like they weren't all there non-sexual. at the same time. It wasn't like a party of No, life. no, no. But they overlapped. This is your life. <laughs> yeah, but they overlapped. Okay. okay. So it was kind of. I, was I thought like, it was brilliant. I'm sitting well, here thinking, should. did they all jump out of a cake? Or no, 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 like no, 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 no. Yeah. I would do it that way. If I did it, I would just. I would all together. They're like, all in the pool with like mer tails on. Yeah, I'm like, you know hey, what I mean? yeah. swimming around. Wouldn't you do that? Fuck yeah. 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 Hmm. Why not? But you would. So you. But you would have a party. Oh, a big party. Yeah. No, you mean just in general, like for or well, you mean a party the, with all you, of them. If, you if I were to hire a bunch of hookers, I would definitely have a party because just the way I used to throw parties and share my purchased goods. <laughs> I, I was that person when I lived in Hollywood. <laughs> I would be like, you know, welcome to my party. Let me entertain you. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's the same kind of thing. Yeah. How long did you live in LA? Just a couple years. Did you like it? No. I mean, I loved, I loved the scene. I lived in West Hollywood, and I loved my friends, and I loved going out. I hated the traffic, and I hated just LA. Right. You know, the people. So, I mean, and I go up occasionally, and I have friends still there, but... Um, I was quick to move back to San Diego. Up, of course. Yeah, and I parties. went to a lot of them. <laughs> when I was there, that's kind of all I did. And then I like San Diego because you can choose to party. And you can, you right. know, and you can also, like, sit one out, and it's not, like, a big deal. Well, the problem with a lot of the L.A. parties is they go for days. Right. Like, oh, I did The party that, starts yeah. on Friday, and it ends Tuesday and morning. Sunday. Oh, see, mine, w- uh, mine would usually start on Friday and end Sunday afternoon. Okay. I have a day job. <laughs> well, see. You gotta pay yeah, the bills. Do you know what? Do you know my partying is... Well, this is because I'm older. <laughs> my partying is... Well, I'm, I'm fat. Uh, my party is I hey, go, hey, hey, I go hey, to the party, the I here. eat, okay. and I leave. That's my partying <laughs> anymore. She like goes now? to the parties with the best food. 
that's why you should. I mean, you go to the best food, but, you know, I don't even bother. I'm just like, oh, there are those people. They put out, like, the, the Costco Yeah, why cheddar. bother? She brings oh. ice. I do. Okay. If, you have, if there's At a party that has good food and I'm not invited. <laughs> then you're pissed. I know. I take a bag of ice. If, wait, wait, wait. If you're not invited, you show up with a bag of ice? Yes. <laughs> Everyone loves a bitch with ice at a party. Because they always Because everyone runs out of ice. <laughs> but are, are you ever, like, not invited because they're not inviting you? And then you're just like, but I have ice. And they're like, but bitch, we yeah. totally didn't want you to come. Okay, first off, that would never happen. Okay. Well, first off, I'm not invited because I'm, there was just an oversight. I, exactly. I, I'm shocked that you even used the word not invited. Yeah. I can't even believe that. Yeah, would no. Even, uh, I, no, 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 no. Trust me, there are some people that would town. not invite me to their party. They're probably not fun. No, they're not. No, they're not, clearly. No. What would you have you ever not have you me. has there ever been a party that you haven't been invited to? And you found out about it? Yeah, and, and I mean, I think back in the day, that's kind of the kind of thing that you'd be upset about. But as you as you guys know, you know so many people, you can't always be invited to everything. And sometimes people want an intimate thing. I mean, I think the last time I got really upset about not being invited to a party, I was in eighth grade. You know what I mean? Like that's right. that's the time I was just like, I can't believe it, and they don't want me. But then somebody actually, one like bitch from high school, actually said, you know, stop asking for your invitation. We don't want you there. So there were reasons to be upset. But outside of that, usually no. If if I see uh, recently, I had a friend everybody was talking about her big 40th birthday party and everything and I was like oh that's interesting I know her I wasn't invited but I was like well I'm like so yeah you know and I think people do, you get upset? Stop. do I get upset yeah but uh, you, no. No, no, nobody does that it's an oversight well I don't get invited anymore <laughs> like just in general I but I think what has happened I think this is what has happened uh, I for a very long time have become a homebody and so I, uh, I think people just stop inviting me places because I just stop going. They're not used going. to seeing right. you. Yeah, so well, I just stop going. That happens. That yeah. happens. Your RSVP would be maybe, and then you'd never go. Yeah. Or my RSVP is yes, and then and I don't show up. Oh, right. yeah, I would not invite you again yeah, after that. I yeah. do that. Okay. So. See, if I if it's a party at a place and they don't invite me and I really think that I should be invited, well then I will go a bar, restaurant, whatever, and make the party. All about me. Do you bring ice? And then. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I lie, that's, so wait a minute. If it's at someone's house, I will just find somebody else who's going and go with them. But that doesn't happen to you. I, and again, in that case, it's. Oh, yeah, it happens to him. It happens to him. Oh, trust. I know. It happens to really? him. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I guess I, I don't believe a word you say. See, Either of you. Yeah. So that's what happens. I just don't get invited anymore. What happened to our fireballs? They don't have any. We were oh, going to okay. have some. She loves Well, they're so that damn stuff. good that they probably uh, sell out of them. He the ran machine. to the liquor store quickly to get, get some. I, so that would be some. so awesome. Well, you should have it because you're drinking the uh, honey. I'm drinking honey jack. And honey you know jack. what? And, and they have, and I'll give you the pictures so you can see, they actually have a honey jack machine, machine here. here. <laughs> it's right. like two upside down bottles. Oh, yeah. Of Honey Jack, which is my new favorite thing because it tastes like candy. It's and the it, new Jaeger machine. Yeah, he's like, do you want you, you know a cocktail with that? I'm like, it is a cocktail. It's just sugary. Sure, yeah, that's sugary what you can Jack. do with your Jaeger machine. Turn it into a fireball machine. What? Okay, what is a fireball? It's just uh, it's a, it's a whiskey. Whiskey. It's uh, it, that it tastes yeah, it's cinnamon. So it tastes like those uh, fireballs. Remember when you're so you're it is hot. like those. Oh my god, yeah. the, fire, the fireballs yeah. you have at Seven Eleven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, you go and buy out the bottom shelf. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So then you put them in water good. and pull them down. You're yeah. Like, oh. My okay. God. Okay. So I was out at. Uh, at that bar that I Pete's place out in um, La Mesa. La Mesa. Do wow, do you go to bars in every neighborhood? I do. <laughs> she is known throughout the county, hence county supervisor. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. All yeah. right. Are you the mayor? What? The no, I what? could no. be. <laughs> Oh, well, because I don't go out in Hillcrest very much. Where do no. you go out? Oh, well, I live in Hillcrest, so so I go out. Well, I go out mostly in Hillcrest, actually. I mean, when I used to live at the Egyptian over down the street, I, right. I could walk to Betty's. So I was at Betty's like all the time because that was your walk to. And then, um, but now. Where do I go out? Probably more Little Italy area or places with good cocktails. I like craft cocktails. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you go to some of the bars and they're just all about, like, the Moe's is great, but you go and they're all, you know, here's your well drink <laughs> right. up to the rim uh, of straight your crap <laughs> vodka. <laughs> right. Like, but it, which is awesome if you're going to get trash. But I'm all, oh, no, I'm all, I'm a diva now. So I, just, right. I can't, is this, you know, what's the age of this bourbon? Or, yeah, you know, is it like, like last it, week? Oh, a small bar, like a good there because they do, they I actually, do love the small they, bar. Uh, do the they age their Manhattans in a barrel? They do cocktails that they age in a barrel. So like I'm all like you know foodie. Um, and have you been to uh, Nunu's? 
Not I used to live. Actually, my first date with with uh, David was at New News. He, I wore feathers and he wore leather, which is funny. He's wearing leather tonight. <laughs> Are you wearing feathers? <laughs> but that was the thing. But now like I, I used to live at New News. I had my birthday party there. I mean, I was there I probably four New or five News. nights a week. Yeah, hmm. New News. Not in a long time. They make that really good Bloody Mary, which is with the. It, it's like a meal with the shrimp and everything else that's in it. They there are some places so recently good. that was that, that they call it like it's like a twenty dollar drink because they actually have a piece of prime rib in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you heard about that? Where is it? That's local. That's yeah. Yes, it is local. Yeah, they no, just no, did it in, a, oh in God, one of the I little blogs. I <laughs> it's gonna drive me but crazy. But it's on a stick. I don't. I haven't seen it. I yeah. just was like, they're all well, who got the twenty dollar Bloody Mary? And like, <laughs> oh, but it's got a prime rib on it. Yeah, it's one of them new places. Yeah. Yeah. One of them new places. What are you suddenly from the south? What is it? The tractor the room. The tractor room. Is the, it the tractor room that has the, the tractor room? Does it? have? The, well, that's jerky. They have a. They have a jerky. Big slab of meat in a twenty dollar bloody Mary. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, now you know. I didn't think that that, that they had Mary. a meat there. I thought all their stuff was Thank game. You. Okay. So no, they do. The, uh, it, it is room. mostly game, but they, I mean that's why no, I'm saying meat, beef, they have a um, they have a bloody Mary that has a huge ginormous thing of it's buffalo jerky. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I go to Starlight a lot, and they actually have the the hot for for Sunday brunch too. They have the Holly Go Lightly, uh-huh. which I always order. And it's it's a Manhattan with a little Oof. bit of uh, maple liqueur, and they put bacon in it. So mm-hmm. it's like oh, for Sunday you have that with the bacon. Yeah. It's like a donut. It's like breakfast. I love yeah. Starlight. Well, I used to live a block away from that. Place. Okay, so I'm over there, there now. Way. I'm in that neighborhood. Okay. So when you ask me where I go out, like the hood, Hillcrest is my hood. You know, we, we've lived in Kensington before, but I think for the last ten years I've been. Very sense. Since I moved back from Where out. did you go out in Kensington? In Kensington? Because uh, there's really not too much no. over there right now. It's like Ken Grill. I and didn't. Yeah, Ken. I mean, exactly. What's that? Oh, there's little there's place? Kensington the Ken Club. Bar. The Ken Bar, yeah. yeah. The Kensington Club. And then Ponce's. Ken Club. Yeah, Ponce's is actually fun. They do something once yeah, a week where they have, uh, the, they have after hours. So on Sunday night, they're always closed. Once a month. Are you familiar with this? Once a month, they open, open it up to a DJ and they do street tacos and they have really cool like cocktail deals and things like right. that. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. why they're so, in yeah, I'll go over no, there. What area are you in? Lim- I'm at Normal Heights, right over there. Oh, and you're yeah. going to La Mesa? The bar? Well, you know, I am, yes, I do. I do not stay. I don't really stay in the hood very much. I'm not a hoodie she person. Likes to go out of the bubble. Yeah. Uh, she's well, so I'm, if you're she's that involved the in the bubble, you know. Yeah. So I like I like Pete's Place in La Mesa. I love uh, Eastbound out in Lakeside. I was, Lakeside. Yeah. She's a horse girl. I'm a horse girl. So yeah, okay. I'm totally out of the. I don't stay in the bubble. There's a couple places up in Miramar that I like. Miramar. Oh my God. You really are outside the bubble. <laughs> <laughs> like you're all chill. That's where her church is. Miramar, yeah. San Marcos. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you go to church. So yeah. I will. And PB. With the church bash. Uh, uh, no, her her <laughs> church is more about spir- spirituality and blah blah blah. Awesome. Yeah. We have to My take dad. a break. We've okay. been having the little whiteboard flash in front of us, <gasps> so we're gonna take a break and we'll be right. Oh back. dear, how rude! I didn't even notice. My ears. We are back. Live at the Brass Road. We were actually here the whole time. Yes, we were. I hate to give away the behind the scenes yeah, and stuff, see? but we're we're not just back. We're just still here. It's like yeah. Hogwarts. Okay. We didn't even move. No. <laughs> oh no, I guess I. You drinks did. Are you full. totally like yeah. walked away. And came back, so. Drinks are all full now, so yes, we're magic. all good to go. Find any damn <laughs> magic of cinematography. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever I said, it was that I wanted to drink. It would be really fireball. cool if suddenly I was holding the cake. fireball. Mm. We're going to get you some. I would love That's to. That's it. Yeah. You're going to have to have some. Oh, they are very good. I'm sure that Starlight probably makes a fireball something something. Yeah, oh, but I'm they sure. probably would look down their nose at me if I asked for one. They'd be like, oh, we have to make Really? Because <laughs> you, know. you dare it. post that on Twitter. Why would they do that? Bad angle. I don't, what? I don't know. I know, it's news. all behind you, so it's I know, really. <laughs> no ass shots. No ass That's shots. later. <laughs> yeah, okay. And it shots off the ass. And at least there's a crack How old were you the first time you got drunk, speaking about calling and drinking? I was 17. Was it at? I think. It was at a party, and I didn't know what to mix with what, so I actually grabbed some vodka and Coca-Cola, and, and I remember people at the party accusing me of faking it, because there's no way anybody could be that drunk and stupid. Like, at this party that I was at, I was like, uh, yeah, I put it in a bottle. Hey, I, you, I drink Coke and vodka I know, all the time. I know people who drink that all the time. What? I didn't. 
Well, yeah. you know what? There was a kid. I saw it was at a crawfish boil. Yes, what day is it? Monday. Saturday. I don't know what. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Days run into each other. But I was at a crawfish boil, and there was this kid there who I didn't realize was the nephew of the birthday girl who it was, and he had a vodka, a vodka and Coke. And so I, like, hooked him up with the hurricane with a splash of champagne. I'm like, no, this is just... This is really, really yeah, yeah, yeah. He's 19, and then he actually drunk texted. He was drunk texting, and I and I went over to him, and I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm drunk texting. And I'm like, let me help you out with that. And I grab his phone, and I look at it, and he's like, it's so much fun to flirt with a 30-year-old when you're drunk. And I said, oh, am I a 30-year-old? <laughs> like, I won't tell you how old I am. Dancing. It's not 30. It's nowhere near 40. But it's not 30. You know? Yeah. <laughs> it's somewhere in the middle. But, but it was just so funny. And then, of course, all night I'm like, that's right. I'm flirting with a kid. And then they were like, you know, who is this kid anyway? And they're like, crazy. it's Amy's nephew. And I went, oh, oh weird. It's my friend's <laughs> yeah, well, baby. You got to sometimes take it wherever you can get it. That's yeah, all no, I'm saying. Are you kidding me? I love that. Oh, I, I loved it. So much when they love you, they love you. I know. I'm like a 30 year old. Speaking of love you, you've been writing a column. Yes. Now yes. since 2004. Yeah. Eight, is that eight years yet? Uh, that's eight years. Yeah, yeah. Eight years. I have a column called Diary of a Diva. Exactly. Um, and my it, website's Diva Barbarella. It's very kind of, have you read her column? And it's, it, it appears in the reader, but it's like, it's kind of like Candace Bushnell's like what Sex in the City. The oh, movie. Used to be, right. And, and shoes. I'm not at, you know, I have, I have knockoff Louboutins. Right. But they're not the real ones. Well, then you're doing so, something way yeah. wrong. No, I'm Saving money, but I bought money in Madrid. Does that count? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Okay. See, yeah. <laughs> I flew to Madrid to get my knockoffs. You did. You, yeah. Well, I think you have to fly somewhere to get good knockoffs anywhere. No shit. And sometimes uh, good knockoffs are better than the. Uh, I think thing? so. Yeah. yeah, I can actually walk in these. Um, but yeah, I have that. It's, it's basically about my life. So I have, I, I write about, like, you know, my family's a little crazy. My dad is here. You know, I have my, my main fodder. My, my fodder's my fodder. You know? Right. <laughs> but is is my father who is very, and he lives here in Hillcrest, too, very, you know, a uh, big part of my life. And, uh, pfft. And one particular crazy sister and David, my partner in crime. Your partner for in everything. Crime. My partner in everything. Your partner who you are legally married to, but you yes, call him your partner. But we uh, eloped. It was such an afterthought. And people say, "How long have you been married?" We both go, and they're like, "What?" And we we, we kind of hesitate because we don't know. I actually had that day, and I did a column about this um, uh, called "Lawfully Wedded." But that day, we had a to-do list that said, uh, "Pick up dry cleaning, get married, go to Ralph's," and it was a Wednesday. And we actually had, and, it, and we just stick in jeans, kind of went. And we did that. We went right over here to Uptown, right. picked up the dry cleaning, went down to the county, didn't tell anybody. Friends found out months later, despite the fact, and they're like, you know, why didn't you tell us? We've been telling you for years. Just a piece of paper. You know what I mean? It was right. pulled the plug rights. And we actually wanted to get a civil union. But in the state of California, you have to be either gay or over 65. We didn't want to get married. And so that's just really? the way the law yeah. was. Yes. <clears throat> we did not want to. And so we, we hired a lawyer. And we had this whole like thing. And it would have been several months and several thousand dollars. Because I would, you know, it was just not. And I did phone banking for gay marriage and everything. So I was just really like not wanting to do that. Um, but then one night, he's just like, fuck, how much does it cost to get married? And I'm like, it's 100 bucks. Takes half an hour. <laughs> like, like, let's just do it next week, and that, and that's what we did. So, so yeah, right. to answer your question. And how long have you been together? Ten year. This year's our ten year anniversary. Wow. And that's what we celebrate. But the, don't you the, think the, that that Tuesday. is like really? I think the most important. You know, I that's went to a wedding this weekend, and I could not believe. You know, I uh, I go to very few weddings. Again, um, I don't get invited to very many because I <laughs> stop going. Because you because you see RSVP and they pay for that seat. You know. No, I, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> because she pushes her Mexican marriage contract. I do. I do push my Mexican <laughs> what is your contract. Mexican marriage contract? Like you come with the with no 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 no. My, the, the marriage the Mexican marriage contract <laughs> is that if you you sign a contract when you're getting married. So that you, for, and you put the time in there. It's kind of like a very detailed prenuptial agreement. So you put the time in there, and then uh, at the end of the contract, of the time of however long the contract is, you can either renew it. Oh, I just read about this. Yeah. I didn't know that was Mexico. I thought that was another country. No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> well, there are other countries that, that okay. probably are going to pick it up. But yeah, so you can then at the end of that contract, you can decide. Okay, let's well, see, renew it. Here's or the let's thing: not. if I was going to do it legally anyway, yeah. like like hiring a lawyer, even civil union, it, it would have been just to be done until I wanted to undo it. You know what I mean? So that just seems like I don't want to have to do. It's, it's like you know what? It's like those credit cards where the things you sign up for, the magazine subscriptions, where they're like, it's not canceled, but you have to, you know, it is. But 
just I think that that is so brilliant because a there's a like, limit. Let's say yeah, there's a limit. So like let's say you're going two years, which like, is we're great gonna do if this the reason you're years. holding up. But I mean, and that's the thing. None of that, none of that equals commitment to me anyway. No. You know what I mean? So it's just it, it seems so like like moot because it's just that has nothing to do with commitment. It's just a matter of uh, you know of of having. Yeah, having, uh, like like I said, pull the plug, right? It's having the ability to be recognized right. for certain things and everything else, it doesn't matter. I mean, if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't be married. If it wasn't for the fact that I want, if I'm suddenly in an accident, David making my medical decisions, there'd be no reason for us to be married. I'll pull the plug, girl. Well, you Would know, you? that's just how it is. I'll sneak in. We don't even have to have uh, yeah. no, 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 I'll no. take off the I boa. Would, yeah. I'll crawl under the medical Well, bed. and everyone knows. I'm like, I just want you yeah. Pull it. Pull. Yeah. Pull it. Totally. I might go under the cold and I'm like... <laughs> yeah. I do yeah. think that's wonderful though. I mean, that's awesome. It's kind of like a... Not like... I know Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt have talked about they're not going to get married until it's legal and Charlize Theron and all that stuff. But to actually hear that that's the reason why you didn't want to do yeah, it. Yeah, there was there's no yeah, there was no reason and that was especially because it, like I like I told you, I have an aunt and uncle who are gay. I have uh, I'm very involved in the community. I have uh, oh. you know, it just went oh did the light fall? Oh. Yeah. You know what it just that did? Was both beautiful. We just accentuated <laughs> yes, the lighting on my cheek. Did I just get more gorgeous? Yes, yes you did. Yes, we you should did. Wait, wait, wait. You should face that. You're supposed to say that wasn't possible. Uh, oh, I will FaceTime that. I've got my FaceTime thing here. <laughs> Oh my god, it's true. It is true. It is true. It is true. I no. did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't fix it. Do not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that is perfect. Yeah, it's see? perfect. No, How do I look? No one says up. anything yeah. about that. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, they're like, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so that's a uh, that's a uh, uh, my column, and uh, I also do I, I you know I do local media stuff. I do an NBC spot, but like through that events, things like that, and I just go out. So a how about, how often do you write? Um, uh, every week, Mike. It's a weekly column for eight years. So I think I, I think last year, I think last year I wrote eight I wrote years. I wrote a blog. No, I think Come I wrote on, two blogs year? last year. Yeah, last With year. With your new I iPad, though, you can actually dictate that. Oh, well, you, you know, don't even have to worry about like the this. I go back to I don't think anyone cares about what I have to say. That's what I thought. I, I mean, that's what I did. I just had a blog. That's how it started. I just had a blog online, and I was working as paralegal, like near downtown. And I and I'm just like, who gives a shit? Right. You know, people do because you know what they can relate to you because mm -hmm. you have thoughts. You're you're a human with thoughts and emotions and opinions, and well, people relate. We'll see. And that and so is that. We'll how, see if you're a human. Is that how everybody everything else kind? Kind of like it. It sort of fell into place after that, or did you seek out going to no. NBC, or did you seek out all the other? No, things this that was you did? great. I was working as a paralegal, and I had a blog. It was called Barbarella's Pillow Talk because my boobs were my pillows. Right. And that's also where I used to keep the drugs. So it was like. Oh, she's into BDSM, by the way. Yes, my license. Well, I, oh, I actually shouldn't say my license plates because then people could track me. But they say. I'll say it. Um, but yet you've already I am, said it. I so, am yeah. a dominatrix, but that's not. That's really right. <laughs> but I, but I kind of already figured that. I was gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, uh, but I am. But no, no, I had a blog, and actually, it was the owner of of the reader who found the blog, which was very, I'm very surprised because it's very raunchy and very bad, and said, um, "We saw your blog. We want to give you a job." And then I got that, and um, and then everything else through that. So I do guest spots. I'll be on NPR this week, KPBS. You know, I talk about on events, KPBS. things like yeah, on their Thursday. I love it. So, um, no, just through being around, huh? Am I excited? Uh, yes, yes, but I, and, and yes, because I love it. But I actually, it's a regular thing that I do. So I go on. Uh, right, right. Make a donation. So KPBS is a yeah. yeah. Call. <laughs> what? Make a donation to KPBS. Yeah. No. So you get the producer license plate thing to put on your car. Oh, I love those. Yeah, we <laughs> the do. The little members. I'm all confused because somebody back there went like this. Am I talking too loud? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're gonna I'll stay quiet. Oh, I thought you were telling me to be quiet, and I'm like, what did I do wrong? I just want to please. Is there any? Yeah. Is there anything wrong? Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. No, yeah. So just yeah, it all came from that. It was all it was all naturally born of the fact that I like to share who I am. I have an experience, and I want to go like, I want to tell a story. And then everything else comes after that. Then they're like, here's somebody who wants to talk. And I do emceeing. I am emceeing uh, the TEDx, America's Finest City. I emcee uh, lots of events in town. She's like you. 
You do that too. But she writes. I'm like, okay, whatever. But you do too. Well, you actually, used to. I used to write. Yeah, I used to write. Why don't you? Why did I stop because writing? Because she doesn't think that people want to hear what she has to write. Is well, that seriously because, the reason? or do you seriously Yeah, like because I think that I, do, when I wrote, I was in the bubble. And I spent a lot of time in the bubble and I talked about the bubble and all of that. What and was going you on. thought that they were interested in the bubble and not in you, when in fact they're interested in you. Well, I don't know. Now I'm like out of the bubble. Now I spend most of my time in Lakeside and La Which is totally interesting. Everybody in the that. bubble is like, what's happening over there? Yeah. But the thing about it is, is that we do this show and they watch the show. Right. And half of the people that watch this show don't even live in San Diego. Right. So That's true. They still want to know what See? you're thinking and feeling, what your thoughts are, and the behind the scenes. You're just like, that Barbarella was such a bitch. I you know, would like, nobody never even say knew. that. She kicked will, me under the table will, and you couldn't see him in the camera. And when I learned how to tweet, you know, I'm just going to start tweeting it. <laughs> when I learn how to tweet, it's the at something. It's not the same. Something. Something. Oh, uh, do you tweet? I do, like a crazy person. Do you? Yeah, I tweet, I Facebook, and I, I Instagram, I YouTube. What I'm, is I'm Instagram? All, everything. <gasps> oh, she loves her Instagram. You, you now, She has an iPhone now. She got one this week. Okay, but well, what is I, an Instagram? It's basically like a photo app for your iPhone, but it's a whole other community, sort of like Twitter, but you can blast it from Instagram to your Twitter and your Facebook. You know? That sounds kind yeah. of complicated. So the way that you it's take not photos. It's, it makes it easier. I'll show right. you. You just do it through Instagram rather than the the little And then there's a little thing. thing you go, send to my Twitter account, send to my Facebook. Yes, yes. It's just yeah. like from your photo. It automatically sends to your account. Oh. But I do that. All I mean, right. yeah, all, all of those things. I'm everywhere. I, I have been be. I have been twittering a lot media, this week. So you know all about that. You I mean you're like, and now I'm, I follow you on Twitter, so I'll be. No. The the only thing that I don't like about Instagram is I don't like the quality of photos. I they all look dumb. Well, that's the people you're following. <laughs> no, I'm I'm dead serious. All of that have you have you well, gone what to, are on to there? Instagram Hall of Fame dot com? No, they're all hideous. Oh well, all I, of the I, photos I, are but the, the, the people I follow, you follow specific people. I don't care about that. You know, actually, David is, is that's what he does for a living as a photographer, and he's on there, not on Twitter. Still has the, the first gen iPhone, which I'm surprised even works. To me, it's and is on there. You know, hipsters think that's cool because it looks like all old and Polaroidy and and strange, and I'm just like ugh. Please. You can't, but, but you, but it's an easy way to blast it. Sometimes you do the filter, which can like frame it, and it's just an easy way to. But you're right. It started with as a hipster thing, which is why I held off for a couple of years because I like I, I distance myself, <laughs> even though a lot of my friends are hipsters, and I call them. I'm like, you know, I'll be tweeting, you know, sending, don't worry, your hipster little head about it. You know, they're all, you know, I like bikes and skinny jeans and big glasses <laughs> and, and, and 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 weird prints matching with things. And I go right. to the pink bar, or bar pink or whatever. I've never been there. <laughs> I know, and all my hips friends go there, and which is great, and you know what? And I love them as friends, but like the hipster, and I fuck with them about it. You know, I'm just like, you're a hipster, and they're like, no, I'm not, and I'm like, rule number one of being a hipster: deny your hipster. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are a hipster. A hipster like, yeah, that's that's it. So, uh, but yeah. I can, but I play with them. I play with all the hipsters. Well, that's what you've got to do. I play with them too. Yeah. <laughs> I'll play with anyone. Play them at parties. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah, we got to take okay. a break again because we're having the little. Thing. So, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Having? <gasps> Fuck shit. Damn. God damn it. Cock suck. Oh, executive producer MJ <laughs> Top. Not going to like that. I was just getting them all out of the way as we came back from break. Oh, we've been saying that shit all through the show. What are you talking about? I was standing at my computer today and had like a total random Tourette's attack. I was just like, fucking, fucking shit. Fuck, 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 fuck. And for no reason. And I went, oh, I guess I just needed to get that out. Yeah, but sometimes that's fine. I was doing that in my closet tonight. <laughs> well, <laughs> it, <laughs> <laughs> Hence the reason why we were sitting here waiting for uh, several minutes. But my Catherine, closet, my closet is now a mound. I was, yeah, it's like who's coming over tomorrow to help you organize? Uh, who I well, Goodwill. <laughs> Goodwill. <laughs> I hope I didn't just slurp into that. Because I probably, yeah, I probably did. That's kind of hot. Okay, good. Oh, we like slurping. So, okay, so nice. going back to your writings, uh, which made me, you know, uh, during our last brief commercial break, at what column, has there been anything that you, that you have gotten... What's been your most controversial thing that you've covered? Oh, God. A, a lot of people, a lot of hate mail I get over my choice not to have children and my thoughts on, like, you know, like comparing children to animals. Um, uh, I, I love my nieces and nephews, but I definitely, like, like I, get, I get hate mail for that. I get hate mail. What was, oh, my God, I'm almost going to need help. There was one really, really 
Don't you love hate mail though? I oh, it's great. Love hate Andy mail. Warhol That's said, "I never read the words." Attention. Yeah, I never read the words. I just count the column inches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Count the yeah. inches. So no, it's great, and I have I the hate. hate I'm mail. just thinking of the most recent hate mail, which is about the kid thing. But no, um, uh, I had, you know, I wrote, I, I write about very personal things. I wrote once about why I wasn't going to my grandfather's funeral. Uh, I write about very, you know, from personal things to, you know, to, to silly things. So uh, it's a, but I'm rarely controversial. When I am, I really am. Yeah, like, that's I, I, I rarely am, am but when I am, I go for it. Like yeah. I'm like, like me, I like do me, not like me. That's the round. When I go, yeah. I go. Yeah, for the yeah. jugular. Why? Why is it that you don't want children? Just so everybody knows, you're just not. A not interested. It, w I always say like, when I decide to settle down, I'll get a dog. You know, because it's like easy. But I, I just don't. I just don't want kids. It's a whole. It's a whole life. You know, and, and, and I respect if you want children, and that's your choice, and you're going to do that. I totally respect that. Like I said, I have nieces and nephews. I have the best of both worlds because I have them around. I get to be like an influencer, mm -hmm. you know. But for you my play. lifestyle, um, for traveling and what I what I like, it's not it's not in the cards Conducive. for me. It's not yeah. it's not something I'm interested in. I would be a terrible mother because I'd be like, go away, you're dirty and wet, and I can't <laughs> touch you or be around you. Nanny. I, I mean, yeah. exactly, but even so, I mean, I, I wait. You know, for the, even with the nieces and nephews, I wait until they can mix me a cocktail, and or like they're right. old enough. You know, I, I kind of I wait until they're of the age where they so you start. You know, and then I take them out, get them one on one, I single them out like a lioness with an antelope, you right. know what I mean, or whatever. Or whatever sort of, like I get them alone, and then I have my like you know your, your time, right. my mentor, and and I like that. And I, like I said, I, I have I have my aunts and uncles who are really cool and everything. So it's the same. I just don't want kids. Yeah. Nothing's coming out of that. Because my nephew, uh, he just, the, you know, the same thing. I mean, well, he's been around forever, but I just had an, uh, another argument with him because he's turning 16. Oh. And I'm like, and he doesn't want to get a driver's license. And I'm like, why don't you want to get a driver's York license? San Francisco. Yeah, but it's stupid. And he goes, well, <laughs> everyone drives me around. Why do I need to get a driver's license? <gasps> I'm like, because you're going to start driving me around. <laughs> like, that's the deal here. DD, like, because there's that gap when you're not legally able to drink, but you are legally able to drive. You. And that is when you are useful. Yes, that's what I told him. I yeah. said, so you're... I'm, you're that's what you're gonna do. And I drink so much on the East County, which is where he lives. You can just go, <laughs> she's, she's like, oh, new bodyguard, new bodyguard, new bodyguard in the East County. Yeah, so he's like, I'm but not gonna But you can't drive. get him into the bars. Uh, well, yeah, I don't want him to hang out with me there. Yeah, he could just sit in the car, right? <laughs> look Give at him all, an iPad. Look at all of the things I had to go and sit and wait and watch him do. <laughs> Lacrosse. Yeah. yeah. Not Skittles, that ends badly. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's kind of funny. Oh, yeah. Um, Sorry about that. No, no, no. So, uh, so how many articles do you write? Or is it I have okay, so this is what I do uh, like uh, for the reader. So I write my weekly column. I also am the editor with the events. So I pick like fun events in town. And that is like that that is in conjunction with my stepping out with Barbarella segment on NBC that I do once a month and the thing I do on NPR or KPBS, which is the uh, you know, like fun events in town. And I also edit and um, that's but the writing is kind of it's weekly at least two things weekly. What that's a lot. What is? I'm a busy bitch. Yeah. Who is it that you do it with at KPVS? I love her. Maureen. Her? Maureen, Maureen Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh. Maureen I Kavanaugh. Love Maureen. She is the she's best. Great. And every time I walk in there, just her, she's just so awesome to be around. You know, she's just she's funny. You know, okay, you want to know like a funny behind the scenes story yes, with I that? Do. So I was on one time and I I featured an event with LMFAO and I intentionally like just to fuck with Maureen because I know it's NPR and you just can't do this. I'm like so. I wait till we get on air, and I'm like, so, uh, also, LMFAO, and by the way, I think that's an acronym, Maureen, what does that stand for? I don't know, can you tell us it's la laughing, like, can you, what is it? And she's like, yes. <gasps> <laughs> and then she's like, kind of joking, like, 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 okay, like, move along, but I wouldn't let it go. Yeah. And I'm like, no, it's a saver, it's a thing, you know what, I think I got it, I'm gonna, you know what, it just came to me, and she's like, no, no. <laughs> but, kind of uh, you know, she's awesome. Oh, I love the NPRs like that. I and what is, what is David do? David is a fine art photographer, <coughs> and he uh, is is and of course let me brag a little. He's represented in galleries around the world. That's why I got my little evil Hello Kitty. We went to Tokyo for his good. <laughs> and apparently he's a leather sewer because those pants that he made, yeah, those so pants he's, he's wearing, he made. He is my everything and my slave, and uh, he, he likes leather. So and how does that work? Because okay, uh, you are very out there. Oh yeah, yeah. And he is. I'm assuming he's out there in his own other kind of out there kind of way. Actually, no. David's a very private person ironically because like I write every like if he gets hung over and or drunk bakes or gets a pimple like it's a column because I'm like right. it's deadline day 
<laughs> and I have nothing to oh, write about. Yeah. They always say the family of a writer is utterly doomed. It's so right. true. It's they are true. screwed. It's and true. I'm just like, you know, the little voice memo is on all the time. But um, but no, he's very private. He's very supportive of everything. So so for him, he just he's just so like almost obnoxiously confident and okay with himself. Like, right. like to, to the point where everybody else is like, stop being so secure. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't bother him. But he he's uh, so is there, is there been something he's like, uh, no. <sighs> Yes, when it comes, well, well, only if he thinks it's going to portray me in a, in a light that I shouldn't be portrayed in. And then when it comes to BDSM, he doesn't, well, because his parents read me on the East Coast, he doesn't, well, we'll probably be seeing this because I'm going to link yeah. um, it. <laughs> They're watching right now. He, yeah. uh, he does not want me to, to write yet, uh, and I've alluded to it, right. but about our um, our alternative lifestyle in that in that regard, because for his parents, because they're very, you know. Not my parents. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> they're very, they're very not my parents. So you might they're have like to have another conversation. With them. That's a whole other show. It's fine. You and might I'm, I'm down know. for it, but he's, but I respect that. And if there were anything that he he were to say, you know, hey, that's not my thing, I'm cool with that. Because you're a dominatrix. And I, but I'm also, but I, but what people don't get about that right. is I all oh, there's there's tons of respect. I mean, right. in order to be a submissive, you have to be more sure of yourself and more confident Confidence. than 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 like just just more balanced than anybody. And so like I have huge respect for them. That doesn't mean I put them down. People have said that the submissives have more control than. Most people it, think. In some, yeah, oh, definitely the most people think. But not more. It was funny. I have a picture that I posted. I don't know if you saw it. Like, he uses the little empty toothpaste. And I, he's like, even Mistress's toothpaste dominates my toothpaste because I have <laughs> yeah. the big one. And I, like, put the tube on top of it. He's like, get that empty one out of my way. You know, but, but just. <laughs> but, yeah, but yeah, my toothpaste is my inanimate objects are dominant. Is that our. Do we have to. Is that, no, no, okay. keep going. Um, yeah, so. Uh, but, but no, he, he really. Uh, the thing is, but the, what most people don't understand, if I say, like, that's my slave or that's my bitch, they're like, don't. That's offensive. I'm like, what do you don't understand is that I have more respect for that person right. than I have for anybody else in the world, save like you know some of my family members. You know, so it's a yeah, it's it's a partnership. Right, I agree with that. And not every, not uh, you know, not all submissive and dominant people click together. I think that it's a chemistry that is yeah. more magnificent than some relationships. He calls himself my hyper competent sidekick, and it's true. There's not an article I write that he doesn't edit first before I turn it into my editors. There's not a film I had. A, I had a uh, a weekly show on NBC for a while, The Five Questions of Barbara. Not not a thing I do that he doesn't help with or edit or give his opinion and, and he has to go in. But but yeah, to answer your question, he's a fine art photographer, he's in fifteen galleries around the world and lots of magazines and like if you Google him you'll be like, Whoa, what? That's a thing that's that's the guy right. behind the scenes. Like he's actually way more you know, like renowned. So, but than that me. makes that work. Yeah. So has he taken photos of you that have yeah. been my column photo I have been on the cover of the reader, I think seven times he took all those. But he doesn't really take pictures of people, though. Oh. Um, he they're mostly like landscape fine art. He has other projects, but they're like you know big black and white crazy scale uh, landscape stuff. But he he does though. Okay. He does, but that's not his thing. You you have some great pictures. I will thank say that. Thank you. Thank you. I've been you, to yeah. her Facebook page. Her Facebook page, great pictures. Thank you. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, okay. And I'm just gonna have to we have some good pictures too. Yeah, we have. Your picture, right. Actually, your website is great. Let's do an ass kissing session. You're awesome. No, yeah. you're awesome. <laughs> Um, no, my no, God, I'm awesome. Are. We're all so awesome. Cheers. Okay, to our clearly audience. I don't do the ass kissing very well. I'm you didn't. You you just went like this. Mm. You're right. I am. She's yeah. Yeah. And moving on. You're yes. ass kiss receiving. Uh, yeah, okay. that is I how can, I am. I respect that. Yeah. No, I kiss ass a little bit. Huh? Not really. No, not really. Not really. <laughs> I really had to think Maybe about that again. Maybe to one or two people I think I've ever seen you ask to. And not to ask us, but just to be nice, right? Well, exactly. And it's not. I don't really think thing. it was an ask us. I think that it was a ploy to get something. No. Sociopath. I think that you. and, I, and <laughs> I, No, and what I'm saying is I don't think it's an ask us thing. I think it's just your demeanor changes a little bit towards people that you know you have a significant more level of respect for than you do for other people. Oh, uh, well, oh. that is true. How diplomatically stated <laughs> yeah. was that, Aaron? Because, okay, <laughs> because I want to hear that in real talk. Dolores. I will tell you that. You are I very, love Dolores, but I think Dolores amazing. does a lot. I mean, well, I adore her for one, and I do totally respect her beyond words. I mean, she's just an amazing... But everybody else can suck it? Uh, no, no, no. The, oh, I okay. think that there are people that 
I, I do think that there are people that don't get as much credit as maybe they should in the community. That, yeah. And those people, you know, because I am a, I'm very, very big, and I've said this a zillion times, I'm very, very big at remembering where we come from and what we had to do and what we continue to have to do. You mean as a community? As, a, as very an individual so, in the yeah. community. Okay. And that, you know, there are things that I would not be able to do or you wouldn't be able to do or you wouldn't be able to do if it wasn't for people that work Before. diligently hard and to try to stick us back in the 1800s. Right, but then they're, they are quiet and they don't want anyone to know what they do. And they make more of an impact than people that I think are out there and all. Hoorah, hoorah. So, yeah, no, I yeah. can totally see that. Ben Dillingham is another one in the That's community. why they call it silent but deadly. It, it's true. <laughs> it's true. In a good way. Yeah, yes. in a good way. Yeah. It's true. It's um, let's give a shout out for your website. Because yeah, yeah, it is. Diva Barbara, my column's area of Diva, so divabarbarella.com. And on everything, whether it is Instagram or YouTube or Facebook or Twitter, it's always Hashtag. Barbarella F. Barbarella F. Barbarella Hashtag F is in focus, which is my last name. It's <laughs> Barbarella F. Don't forget the F, or else you're just going to get some Jane Fonda wannabe. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Barbarella F, I guess, for Fonda. And that's on everything? <laughs> everything. So if it's Twitter, it's Barbarella F. If it's Facebook, Barbarella F. You know, once I, once I, you know, YouTube, Instagram. I'm like a hoe. I like got a finger. I call myself the octopus. The octopus. I got a tentacle She's everywhere. Amazing in SD. Everything. Yeah, amazing. 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 I love really amazing. I know that. I knew affiliate, but I didn't know amazing. Now I know that I'll be. Yeah, happy. amazing. Well, you know, I think the other day uh, I was watching something on Oprah, and I thought that she said amazing. Well, of course she did. And I, <laughs> you coined it first before she did. I know, and I was gonna get pissed off because I'm like, we need she to better not that be, shit. Yeah. Hey, you should. You or know we, some people. We need to go on that show and tell her why. Amazing. Ophelia always reminds me of the color purple speaking of Oprah, which is a nice segue. <laughs> because the baby is Ophelia, and yeah. she's like, I call Ophelia. Ophelia. Oh, because yeah. we've got yeah. eyes. <laughs> Ophelia is my yeah. favorite movie. Color but purple? Color purple is my favorite movie. Still Magnolia is a close second. You told me a story before we got... Yeah, yeah, yeah. ...about your dad. Yes. And knew somebody in... Oh! Right. Okay. Please you tell that story. So my this father had a teacher whose name was Ophelia McGillicuddy. She married a man whose last name was Dick. So her name was Ophelia Dick. And, <laughs> and it was. A, and, and, I wonder and if she has is, as many problems getting in the phone book as I did. Which is so, which is so crazy because I'm like, you know, that couldn't even be a stage name because nobody right. would believe it. Right. But, it. but as an authentic name, it's like, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Can you believe that, yeah, Ophelia Dick? Thanks Ophelia for coming Dick. Here. I'm just Ophelia later. Which, which is awesome. Ophelia Dick. Wow. I, Ophelia I don't, Dick later. Yeah, Ophelia Dick later. Ophelia Dick later. Ophelia <laughs> later Dick. <laughs> it can be dick. any way. I mean, it totally it has all these different meanings depending on how you order it around. Oy. And that's the writer in me. And the writer in you get to start I will again. think about it. I'm, I will yeah, read whatever. your shit. People will read her shit. She Everybody just will think read they your will. shit. You know we'll what? See. They will. They will. Well, I think about it all the time. Stop thinking about it. Just do it. I can help with that. Thank you very much for being yeah. on our show. Today. Thank you for having fun. me. Thank you. You've been yelling at me. Good. Whatever, I enjoyed it. Did I yell at you? <laughs> you hair. don't even know what yelling. I know my hair is not big enough. I'm feeling so <laughs> inadequate hair wise. <laughs> but you have the boa, so yeah, you're yeah, good yeah to go. Keep it up with the boa. It's all and those glasses. Those glasses are really are the most cute. Thank you. They almost they match your purse. Cute. They do. <laughs> and everything in the brass rail matches me. Yeah. I, I know. Maybe that. we should take our photo like. Yeah, on seriously. The sofa. It's all black and red. But I, that, can but never I think be we do. So I think. Uh, well, what happened is you'll yeah, just blend in. Yeah, you'll just probably just blend in. <laughs> yeah. We might not I can't wait to put this up. You've been fantastic. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank for you for having me. Come back. Yes. I would love to. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Oh, they're yeah. coughing already. I guess we're done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a okay. wrap. We'll see everybody on Thursday. Take care. Bye.